Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about switch statements in Python. So back in the old days, before the newer version of 3.10, the way to write switch statements would be to use a bunch of if-else statements. So let's say we have a bit of code here that has a little printout for the different places for you know, someone competing in a marathon, let's say for the first, second, and third place. So let's declare some number. We're going to put three. So let's say if num equals one, we're going to say print first place, baby. And then l if num equals two, we're going to say print man so close. And then for third place, let's say if num equals three, we're going to say print dang, barely made it. And for the last case, you might have, you know, print invalid case. Okay. So this will be a simple example of how you would implement a switch statement. So in this case, it would be the the cases for three different places for the top three winners. and then and the other case will be invalid. So you can see if we run this, if you're third place, it'll say, dang, barely made it. If you put an invalid case, say 33, you'll see that it says invalid, invalid case, invalid without an E. And then, like I said, so since version, so after version 3.10, the new way of doing this would be to say, match num, so you use the match keyword, and then you'll have, so pretty much here, you have the same, you have the same stuff that goes here. The only difference now is that here you would have case one, and then here you would have case two, here you have case three, and then for the last else statement, you have case underscore and then the colon sign. So if I comment this out and just run the bottom part, you can see it says the same thing. So invalid case, if I put first case or number one, you can see first place baby. Okay, so that is how you do a switch statement in Python and we'll see you in the next one.